I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, of business and society, um, profit with purpose. I think it's really important that businesses recognize uh, that they operate within a, a larger context. I don't think it's sustainable if businesses operate in extractive uh, ways within communities, certainly not in the long term. Um, so certainly the idea of shared growth and profit with purpose resonates uh, very much with me. Uh, I think it's a competitive advantage for, for businesses and should be viewed that way. So it's a competitive advantage for an organization, ourselves included, because we know that there's significant value within the SDGs, several trillion dollars. Um, so as an organization, if we're able to mobilize our capabilities, our resources, our partners, our networks, uh, in a way that's able to solve some of those, those challenges in a way that makes sense for us as an organization, that makes us money, it talks to new markets, it talks to new revenue streams, and of course the benefit for the communities in which we operate is, is that those problems are solved or partially solved. I think a lot more collaboration, uh, a lot more innovation. You're starting to see um, blended solutions, which are not that new in terms of the term blended solutions, but you're starting to see some innovation within how different models, and particularly credit models, guarantees, different finance uh, mechanisms are being blended. Um, I, I see it almost as organizations starting to operate in an ecosystem where instead of trying to solve all the challenges within a particular problem, what they're doing is they are starting to get groups of people and organizations together that have specific mandates, they have specific risk tolerances, they have specific capabilities, and rather collaborate in solving a challenge. So social infrastructure is an interesting one because you start to talk around impact investing and, and there's some interesting issues around impact investing and, and one of the important ones for me is, is making sure you understand all the stakeholders in context, not just your shareholders or, or your core um, stakeholders that might be in your immediate circle. And, and I think that's important because there's a lot of misunderstanding around what really impact is and do we have a consistent understanding of that impact. I think the other one that's often mis, um, left out or, or missed in, in impact investing is unintended consequence. Um, and so there are negative consequences in, in investments that might be made in social infrastructure. We have many stories around uh, water and dam projects in China that displace communities, for example. Um, so there are negative consequences sometimes in these investments and I think the important part about impact investing is to have a balanced view on what that impact is um, so you can make trade-offs on which investments you should make.